how to build a free personal website using google sites hi guys welcome back today i'm giving you a tutorial on google sites and how you can create your own personal free website using google sites so let's get started first what you have to do is you can go to google and search for google sites or what you guys can do is you can go to your Google Drive and then go to new and then you have to go to more and you will access your Google Sites. Google Sites is provided by Google and is completely free. You just need a Google account to access your Google Sites. Once you have Google Sites, this is where you will get and I'll show you how to create a website. So first of all, you will land right here and you can see we have different templates available for a project website, help center, event or a portfolio. And then we have a blank website where I can actually start from the scratch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the portfolio for my personal website that I will be creating because portfolio is the kind of website we create in order to build our portfolio and to create our own personal website for our business or any other need. So I'm going to open up this template. You will be able to access it really easily. So here we are in our portfolio template and I'll show you how you can create your own free website for personal use. So first of all, we can change the name for our document that we have. So for document, again, I'm just going to go with a test. So the document is going to be test personal website. Now, this is going to be my name. Like this is where you will be adding the name for your website and it's a personal website for your portfolio. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and add your name. So for now, let's go with the channel name. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to type in the social guide. Let's say that I'm building a portfolio website for the channel. We can also add a logo now for our website. You will click on add logo and it will allow you to upload a logo from your computer or you can select a logo that you already have added. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload a logo. So I have added this right here. This is like a simple image that I have and I will be using it as a logo. So you can see this is where the logo is added. Okay, perfect. Now we have the site name, we have the logo. So this is the main menu. We have home, about and project page. So first of all, let's edit the home page and then I will actually customize my pages as well. So this is our panel that we get on Google Sites. We have the insert option that allows us to insert text box, images, embed and drive. Then we have content blocks such as for images. We have buttons, dividers, placeholders, YouTube, calendars, map, documents, slides, sheets, forms and charts. So you can actually embed your documents, your data from google sheets and google forms uh, within your google website so this is actually pretty amazing uh, then we have pages right here so in pages this is where i will be customizing my pages so we have home page then we have an about page which is like completely blank right now like few of the details added uh, in template and then we have a project page which i will be converting into a video pages so i think three pages look cool i'm gonna go to home and show you how you will customize it so first of all you can customize your data right here so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna again add the name for the channel okay perfect now it doesn't look that good to me what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna customize it a little bit and i'm gonna change the color for this one and the font too I'm going to be going with a little bold font and then when it comes to the color, what we can do is we can change the color for our text as well. Okay, so this is our, you know, main heading now and what I can do is I can actually place it wherever I want. So this is what it looks like and then we have this image right here uh, with this. So uh, this came with the template. What I can do now is I can actually, you know, customize the image as well if I want and change it. So in order to change the image, again, you just click on the image and then you can see it has the crop option, uncrop insert link delete and then if you click on these three dots it will allow you to replace an image as well so what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually crop this one a little bit so that it kind of like matches with our text because it's kind of like there so here we have it our image now i can scroll down and now we can add more blocks to our website so first of all we have this one i'm going to delete this for selected work 
And in here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add maybe two images. So that's how you do it. Simple drag and drop. Again, I'm going to add a divider in between. I'm going to add another divider between these two blocks. Then we have button. So again, what we can do now is I can add a button as well. So you just select the option where you want to add click on button and you can add the button name it will say click here and then you can just go ahead and add the button similarly what i can do is i can add a youtube video we can add calendars so all of these different options are available within our google sites uh, we can now edit our header again if you want to change your header uh, style and everything the images how to add an image so you're just going to click on this plus button and what you're going to do is you're going to select image from the ones uploaded or you can explore google as well so we can explore Google to search different images or we can upload the ones that we already have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this image and click on insert. Similarly, we will select this, select image and insert that image to our website right here. To edit the text, you just click right here and you will add whatever you want to add. So now we can edit more and more. So you can see this is how you add images and text. You can also write whatever text you want. You can add paragraphs. You can now add Google documents and apps as well. Like from here, we have map YouTube too. So now let me show you how you can add a video. So you will just select the YouTube option from here and it will allow you to add a YouTube video. So what you can do is you can search for the video and you can enter a URL as well. So now I can just go to my channel and get the URL of any video and I can paste it right here and search and it will get the video for me. Click on select and insert and that video will be added. We can also get a preview of our website that we're creating with this preview option. It will allow me to get a, you know, desktop view. Then we have a mobile view and then we also have a tablet view for the website. As we are working within Google Sites, we can also share our document or this website with others as well so you just click on share and it will open up uh, different options and we can just add like different people and what we can do is we can just enter any kind of email address right here or group and that team will be added to my site right here now i can move to my different pages if you want to add a new page to your website click on new page give your page a name such as contact us and that new page will be created and it will also be added in the navigation. You can go to theme and change the theme for your website as well. Uh, for example, if I go to home, I have the simplest theme selected right now. If I want to change the theme, I can also select this one. Then we have this one right here. So it will change the theme for my website. We can also add themes that we have all created ourselves and upload them and create a website on Google Sites. You can create any kind of website right here. You can create portfolio, event websites, and more. This was like a beginner's tutorial for you guys to show you and introduce you to Google Sites and how you can create your own personal website for free. If you want to embed any kind of code, you can use this option right here. You can add documents from Drive, images, and text box as well. To publish the website, you will just click on this publish option and your website that you've created on Google Sites will be published. Published. Previous websites will be saved as a document in your Google Sites and you can access them anytime and edit them the way you want. I hope that I was a big help to you guys. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, turn on bell notification and subscribe to the YouTube channel.